Hello class, we will be discussing composite functions and even and odd functions in this video. This is a topic in differential calculus. Let us define the composite function. Let f and g be functions. The function f of g of x is equivalent to f of g of x is the composite of f with g. The domain of f of g is the set of all x in the domain of g such that g of x is in the domain of f. So to explain this one, we have our diagram. We have our x, which is the domain of g. So we have our different values of x's. Then is a substitute natin siya kay g. So that is g of x, kumbaga. And then the value of g will be substituted to our f, which is tinatawag natin domain of f. We have f of g or f with g function. So, kumbaga, this is a function within a function. We must first determine our g of x and then substitute its value to our f of x. So, take note lang that the composite of f with g is generally not the same as the composite of g with f. So, ibig sabihin, we have f of g of x is not equivalent to g of f of x because f of g of x ang ibig sabihin is f of g of x nasa loob si g then pag g of f of x is g of f of x ibig sabihin kukunin muna dito si g of x then isa substitute kay f of x dito sa kabila kukunin muna natin si f of x and then isa substitute natin kay g of x so to further understand our concepts, we have here our examples. For f of x is equivalent to 2x minus 3, and g of x is equivalent to cosine x, find the composite function. Letter A, we have f with g or f of g of x. It can be also written as f of g of x. Pwede din nating i-rewrite yan. Gawin nating f of g of x. So, nasa loob si g of x. Process natin, class. As stated here, yung g of x natin is cosine x. So, isa substitute lang po natin dito. So, we have f of cosine of x because that is the value of our g of x. Yung nasa loob ng ating parenthesis ng f of x is just a placeholder. So, as you can see here, pinalitan natin yung x ng cosine x. So, therefore, for this one, Yung 2x minus 3, etong x is mapapalitan ng cosine of x. So, ilagay natin dito, 2x is mapapalitan ng cosine of x minus 3. So, last thing that we need to do is to simplify. 2 multiplied by cosine of x is 2 cosine of x minus 3. And this will be our final answer. Next question, we are finding the g with f or g of f of x. Sulat natin ulit, we have g of f of x. Next thing that we need to do is to substitute the value of our f of x which is nasa itaas po, 2x minus 3. So magiging g of 2x minus 3. So again, yung nasa loob ng ating open and close parenthesis is just a placeholder. So g of x natin is cosine x. So kung ano yung ipapalit natin kay x, magbabago din yung x sa kabila. In this case, we have 2x minus 3. So therefore, etong cosine x, papalitan din natin ng 2x minus 3. So eto magiging cosine of x magiging 2x minus 3. And then we are dealing with a trigonometric function, so bawal po siyang i-distribute sa loob. So, therefore, this will be our final answer. For our next topic, we will be testing if the given function is even or odd. Uh, we have here the function y is equivalent to f of x is even. When f of negative x is equivalent to f of x. Ibig sabihin, papalitan daw natin lahat ng x's into negative x and then simplify if babalik siya 
sa kanyang original formula or original natin na function, that function is an even function. Next, if the function y is equivalent to f of x is add when f of negative x is equivalent to negative f of x. So, ibig sabihin po, papalitan natin lahat ng negative x and then simplify. If yung ating original function is magiging negative f of x, so therefore that function is add function. So, para mas maintindihan natin, we have here our examples. Determine whether each function is even add or neither. Ibig sabihin, pag hindi siya even, hindi siya add, that is neither even nor add. Letter A, we have the function of x is equivalent to x cubed minus x. Again, yung first step na dapat natin gawin is to substitute negative x sa lahat ng x's natin. So, eto is magiging f of negative x is equivalent to etong x. Papalitan natin ng negative x cubed. Minus, etong x na to, papalitan ulit natin ng negative x. And then, simplify po natin. Magiging f of negative x is equivalent to negative x cubed. Negative times negative is positive. And then, multiplied by another negative is magiging negative. So, this is equivalent to negative x cubed. This one, we have negative multiplied by another negative magiging positive x. Test natin, is f of negative x equivalent to our f of x? Ibig sabihin, etong result ba natin, if i-compare natin sa original formula, the same ba sila? So, by observation, they are not the same because etong positive naging negative, etong negative is naging positive. So, lagyan natin dito, this is not an even function. Next, proceed tayo. Let us test if add ba siya. So, f of negative x, we need to factor out yung negative sa dalawa. We have negative. Negative will be placed outside. So, magiging positive na lang siya. X cubed. And then, etong positive na to, kukuna natin ng negative. So, maa-alter ang kanyang sign, negative X. So, pwede din para mas madali. If magfa-factor out ka ng negative, yung negative magiging positive. Yung positive magiging negative. So, eto na yung ating function. Is F of negative x, the same ba sa ating negative f of x? Ibig sabihin yung nasa loob dito, the same ba sa ating original formula? So by inspection, they are the same. We have x cubed minus x. So therefore, this one is an odd function. So lagay natin dito, odd function. And this is our final answer. So class, let us proceed with our letter B example. Given is g of x is equivalent to 1 plus cosine x. Again, yung first step natin is to substitute negative x sa lahat ng x's natin. So magiging g of negative x is equivalent to 1 plus cosine of negative x. So test natin yung properties ni cosine. Gawin muna natin itong degrees. We have shift mode, then hanapin mo yung degrees. Then cosine, for example, 60 degrees. That is equivalent to 1 half. Try natin ulit. Cosine, gawin natin negative 60. And that is also equivalent to 1 half. So, ibig sabihin po, negative man or positive yung nasa loob ng ating cosine, magiging positive pa rin yung kanyang sagot. And that is called as negative angle identities. If sine, negative theta magiging negative sine theta. Pag cosine, negative theta is equivalent to positive cosine theta. And if we have tangent negative theta, we have negative tangent theta. Ibig sabihin, pag cosine yung ating trigonometric function, pag negative yung nasa loob, magiging positive pa rin siya. So this is equivalent to 1 plus cosine x. That is our g of negative x. Okay, class, compare natin. Is 
g of negative x equivalent to our original formula, which is g of x, question mark. So if you will compare this one using inspection, 1 plus cosine x is just the same with 1 plus cosine x. So we can conclude here that this function is an even function. And this will be our final answer. Let us proceed with our letter C example. We have here h of x is equivalent to x squared plus x plus 1. So we need to test if even ba siya, odd or neither. As we have discussed earlier, yung ating e sa substitute sa ating x is negative x. So papalitan natin lahat ng negative x. This x squared magiging negative x squared plus negative x. Ayan, pinalitan natin plus 1. And then we need to simplify. So dito magiging h of negative x is equivalent to negative x squared, that is negative times negative is positive, magiging x squared, positive times negative is negative x plus 1. Next, we need to test, is h of negative x the same with our h of x? Question mark. Ito ba is the same dito? By inspection, hindi sila the same kasi x squared positive dito sa baba is negative. So, we can conclude that this is not an even function. So, let us proceed class. H of negative x, we need to try to factor out our negative. Magiging negative, eto x squared, nilabas natin si negative. So, ma-alter yung kanyang sign. Magiging negative x squared. Ito negative x is magiging positive x. And then, yung positive 1 magiging negative 1. Next thing we need to test is h of negative x. The same with our negative h of x. Ibig sabihin yung nasa loob natin, ito. The same ba sa ating original formula? So, by inspection, hindi sila the same kasi negative, ito positive, 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 ito is negative, dapat positive. So, we can conclude here that this is not an odd function. So, our conclusion here, this is neither even nor add. So, hindi siya even, hindi din siya add. Final answer. So, that's it for this topic. See you again sa ating next video.